week on 50 States 50 Dishes, we venture into the American Southwest for the first time with the Grand Canyon state of Arizona. Arizona's cuisine is most strongly influenced by the Northwest region of Mexico known as the Sonoran region. This is characterized by its usages of red and green chilies in its food, uh, flour tortillas or the soft tortillas as opposed to corn tortillas, and beef as its preferred form of protein in its dishes. Finding the specific Sonoran recipe proved to be a little bit difficult, so we're going to actually power through with a wet beef burrito recipe that's hopefully going to be really good. Here are all the ingredients you're going to need to make our wet burritos for the state of Arizona. It may look like a lot, but actually most of it's seasoning, and the other half is just cans of things, as well as stuff for the topping for at the end. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get all of your seasoning that we're going to be adding to the cooking ground beef together. So get your minced garlic, your cumin, your salt, and black pepper, and get all that added in together, because you're going to add it all at the same time, so you might as well put it in a bowl and do yourself a little bit of prep work here. Now, I added cayenne pepper and chili pepper to the recipe. It doesn't actually call for that, so I just added about a, a quarter of a teaspoon, uh, maybe a half a teaspoon um, of those two seasonings that you're going to add to the beef as it's cooking, just to give it a little bit more spice. Uh, the other thing is, since we're going to cook beef and then add onions, you're going to want to go ahead and get your half cup of onion set aside in a nice little prep bowl. Now it's time to cook some beef. So you're going to go ahead and break apart and add the entire pound of the ground beef you have to a skillet. You don't need any oil or anything, you're just going to have it brown on its own. You're going to get that going, going, be, going, be sure, be, sure, be sure to move it around to all the parts, break it up as much as possible. Uh, don't worry about it like it breaking up too small because we're going to be adding refried beans to it later, which is going to hold it all together. So the big goal now is to get it all cooked up. Once most of it's uh, brown, we're going to say 95%, go ahead and add in your half cup of chopped onions, and we're going to be cooking that until those become tender and or translucent. Uh, so keep mixing everything around, keep, keep those juices going. While that's cooking off to the side, you can actually start opening your various canned items that we're going to be adding to the, uh, to the mix here. I started with the diced green chili peppers, and that's the refried beans there on the side. I got refried black beans because I like black beans. So, now that your beef and your onions are all cooked together, go ahead and add that seasoning that we prepped onto the side and mix it around using your wooden spoon. Get that nice and spread around because you want that on much, as much of the beef as possible. Uh, once you've got your spices added in, it's, you're going to add in those chili peppers and do the same thing. You're going to move those diced green chili peppers all around and get that all mixed together. It's one of the great things about Tex-Mex food is it's really just kind of making this big mix of food that you're just going to eat later. Here's where those refried beans come in. This can be a little bit difficult as first because the refried beans by design aren't going to want to break up. But if you keep mixing them around and keeping them mashed up, you get this kind of almost mashed potato consistency of ground beef and refried beans. Now it's time to start preparing our wet burrito sauce. You're going to open up your beanless chili, your condensed tomato soup, and your enchilada sauce cans and have those put aside. And then in a small saucepan, you're going to combine all of those over kind of a medium heat. Started with the chili, moved to the tomato sauce, and then your enchilada sauce. And you just want to cook that all the way through. So get it to where, get it mixed up with a spoon, and then you're going to want to get it to where it's got kind of a nice cook to it. You're going to start seeing it bubble a little bit, but you don't want it to full-blown boil. Once you've got all that mixed together and cooking, it's time to put together our burritos. So get yourself one of the flour tortillas. You're going to want to warm it for about 15 seconds in the microwave. Shovel on your burrito mix there. Uh, put whatever, whatever you want on the inside, fold in the insides and then the outside edge and create your burrito. Cover that in your wet burrito sauce. I used a little bit of the chopped tomatoes from the recipe before. Uh, put those on top, a little bit of Mexican cheese or shredded cheese mix, and then some of those chopped green onions and then throw it back in the microwave for probably about another 20 to 30 seconds to melt the cheese on top. And you got yourself a nice wet burrito. So let's see what Neil thinks of it. I'm, I'm really aggro. I'm really excited. I really want to dig into this. I'm going to do that right now. Um, man, I love, I love wet burritos. Stuffed, super stuffed, the inside. taste everything, the seasoning, uh, the ground beef is marinating very well, the onions. Um, it's not as spicy as I would like it. Like a little more, like a little more heat in there. No, that's, that's just me though. Um, 
Yeah, this is a this is a damn good burrito. Well, those were our Sonoran wet beef burritos for the state of Arizona. Tried out by our guest taster, Neil. A couple of recommendations if you want to make them more Sonoran. Use refried pinto beans, or the more classic refried beans as opposed to black beans. Uh, they're more present in Sonoran dishes than the black beans are. And also, don't eat three of them, which is what I did, because you're really going to want to take a nap afterwards. But tune in next week to 50 States 50 Dishes when we head to the home of my Boston Red Sox, Massachusetts, but stay tuned right now for the trivia question of the week.